Dude, this place is super luxurious, though. Oh, welcome to the Boxford Hotel. Whoa. So I finished dinner and now I've gotten all cozied up inside the Boxford Hotel. So I think I'm going to chill out, watch a movie on the TV and head to bed. So I'll, uh, I'll update you guys in the morning. Glad to see my hotel is up and running. Papa Jake did a fine job. I've instructed Papa Jake to go to his room and he's in there right now. Perfect. Tomorrow morning, we'll be paying him a little visit. And finally, we can put an end to Papa Jake. Oh, not the Baron. No, get it. Stop the Baron. I just hear He's He found me. The Baron. Okay. I'm just in my luxury box for a hotel. Baron's not here. Just a bad dream. Oh, hey guys. How's it going? Just another day in the luxury hotel box fort. You guys weren't watching me sleep, right? Because that would be kind of weird. But I guess today we are going to be ordering some room service. So why don't I give Piempe a little call and see what he's up to. Hey, that's weird. Where's my Google home? Wait, why? Why are there bars on my door? What's what's going on here? Maybe this hotel's got some super security system. Oh, okay, Google security down. We're, we're good. You can, you can turn the security off. Papa Jake's awake now. Pepe? Pepe, Papa Jake wants his breakfast. Is, is anyone there? How am I gonna get my egg omelet? Where is anyone? Let's go make myself my own eggs. What's going on with the TV? What's going on? Is is this thing on? Yeah, yes, sir, it's recording. Okay. Wakey, wakey, Papa Jake. Now you're probably wondering where you are. And, well, I can tell you. You're in the hotel you built for me. The Baron! <laughs> oh no. You didn't notice, but it was me who gave you the funds. Probably aren't feeling too smart now. But while you were building this hotel, I was busy making the virus for my second zombie apocalypse. I call it Virus 2.0. And with you trapped in this prison hotel, I will be able to deploy my virus. So have fun in your stay at this hotel. I have Grump. He will get you anything you need. Well, maybe. <laughs> Hello? Let me out of here! Hey! Can you send my money back? Where's Logan? The whole thing's dead. Who even are these pictures? Am I gonna call my grandpa? He's not gonna come save me! If this is true, the Baron has trapped me inside of the luxury hotel. And he's planning to release another zombie virus. I've already gone through a zombie apocalypse. I had to grow my own crops. Do you know how much I hate growing my own crops? No, no, I, I gotta get out of here, okay? You guys know Papa Jake cannot be held in the prison. I've gotten out of all prisons before. In fact, if I had to list all the prisons, I don't think I'm 100% escape rate. And who is this grump? Wait, guys, I think I have an idea. My key card, it should be able to still work. Look, the door's open. Maybe I can use it to get these bars off. Uh, okay. Should just be here. Come on. Hey, come on. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, huh? Who are you? Name's Grump. Hey, the, 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 listen, Grump. I know you work for the Baron and all, but look, you're you're working for the wrong guy, okay? Grump, why don't you just let me out of here? The Baron pays me very well. I like the Baron. Grump, I know you like the Baron, but listen to me, okay? You need to let me out of here, please, Grump. I can pay you. Bam pays me really well. What you gonna pay me? I I have money. Uh, okay, I spent my ten thousand dollars in this stupid hotel room. But Grump, when I get out of here, I can give you money. What kind of money are you talking about? Lots of money, Grump. Like tons of tape rolls. I've got a whole room full of tape rolls back in my house. If you just let me out of here. Silly boy needs to be quiet. Grump, look, I don't want to get in trouble, Grump. You just, please, you need to let me out of here. Oh, Grump, 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 what are you doing? No, 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 Grump, Grump, please. No funny business. Grump, we can make a deal. Come on, no. Can I at least get my eggs? Be ten thousand dollars. I get locked up here. Okay, guys. It looks like the Baron has caught on to me escaping, and he's put some sort of guard to watch me. If I'm gonna get out of here, I'm gonna need to deal with him first. What you talking about escaping? Grump, what are you doing? I'm watching you. Uh, Grump, please. We could be friends. I don't have friends. <sighs> okay, okay, Grump. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go over here and go to bed. Just talk to my friends on the camera. All right, guys, listen, we need to find a way to get out of here. If what the Baron is saying is true, he's going to be releasing a second phase of the zombie virus. We need to stop him. There's got to be a way out of here. There's always a way out of here. But with Grump watching, this is going to make it even more difficult. 
Okay, now we don't have a lot of stuff in here, guys, but there has to be something we can use to get out of here. It looks like the hotel door itself is locked, but behind that, there's a set of bars. Even if I'm able to get the hotel door open, I'm still gonna need to break open those bars. And then I gotta figure out how to get out of this hotel. All right, well, let's take inventory. Uh, we have blankets, TV, a box, and a useless phone. There is a hotel safe, which I have not been able to get open. Maybe there's something in the hotel safe that can help us get out of here. One of the bars must have fallen off when they were installing it. This extra metal bar might come in handy. If we can see what Grump's up to. Okay. Guys, I don't know what Grump's doing. He either fell asleep or passed out. Oh, no, I can hear him. He's snoring. I guess Grump likes to sleep. All right, we need to plan our escape and fast. Maybe, maybe if I could get into this safe somehow, uh, there might be something in here I can use. Well, we have a metal rod, so maybe we can try hitting it. Come on, break open, you stupid thing. What are you doing? Nothing, uh, the safe, uh, the safe called me a name, said I was stupid. You woke me up. I'm so sorry, Grump. Look, I, I just, uh, I'm hitting this safe because he's been, a, he was being a bad boy. You need to be quiet now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll no be... funny business. No, no funny business, Grump. I will be... No more funniness. I, I won't bother you. We need something to get out of here. <sighs> if we can only get that safe open. We can't smash it open because Grump will hear and he'll get angry. It's also metal. I, I need to pry it open somehow. That's probably my only option is to pry it open. Wait, wait. The bed is a blow-up bed. It uses an air compressor. Uh, there should be one attached to it at the back somewhere here. Come on, come on. Uh, just along here. No, 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 no. Uh, here. Here's the air compressor for the bed. Uh, should be able to rip this thing out. Come on. Uh, got it. Okay. This is the back of the blow-up bed. Now, it has a manual pump system here. If I could feed this into the door of the safe, I might be able to pry it open using the power of air. And I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it might work. Pump on this side here. It inflates the compressor bag here. That's what, well, inflates the bed and makes it all super nice and comfy. Now that I think of it, I don't know why I spent $10,000 to sleep on a blow-up mattress. Should be able to speed this into the safe and essentially explode it. Well, hopefully. It's working, I'm getting it in. That should be enough. Ugh, let me move the safe. Now if I pump this, it should be enough force to break open this door. Or the... Okay, I just heard Grump. All right, here, let's try it. Come on. Hopefully this thing doesn't pop before it gets the safe door open. Come on. Wait, I think it's working, guys, look! The safe door's starting to buckle. It's starting to bend here. Oh, come on, break open. Ow! Oh! Oh! oh, it worked! Oh man, we might set up an alarm. Oh, guys, I think I saw my light flash before my eyes. Oh, I was so close. Oh no, Grump's gonna hear. Oh, cover this up, cover this up. Here. Okay, I didn't hear that. I do not know how he slept through that, but we were able to get the safe open. Come on, boy. Yes, Grump? Why are you waking me up? I I'm not waking you up, Grump. I was just sitting here doing nothing. Keep it down. Okay, yep, yeah, no problem. All right, let's check what was inside that safe. Well, there's not much. There is uh, an old 3D printer and a screwdriver. All right, well the screwdriver definitely could come in handy and so could the 3D printer. We might be able to use this in some way to escape from here. But until we can deal with Grump and figure out a way to open that main door, there's no way we're getting out of here. Let's cover this up. Hold on. Yes? Time for food. F food time? Oh, okay. What, what's, what's for dinner? I made it myself. Oh, what's this? I put a lot of work into that one. If you don't like it, I'ma be mad. Made it myself with me snot. Uh, okay. Um, thanks, Grump. Grump, I, I don't know what the Baron's told you, but I'm not a bad person. The Baron is a very bad man. The uh, Baron's my best friend. Grump, how is he your friend? The Baron isn't, friend the Baron isn't friends with anyone. Back in the day. Baron was me best friend. Now I do important stuff for the Baron. Are you gonna eat the food? Or are you gonna make me mad? Yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, eat this. Uh, it looks delicious, Grump. 
Really? I want to see you eat it. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it. Uh, okay. Just gonna get my fork and knife here. Wow, you can, you can just really tell you did a great job with this, Grump. Uh, made it myself. I know you made it yourself. I can tell you made it yourself. No, I, I really can tell. I'll just, uh, I'll go in for this piece. This looks like a yummy piece, right? Right here. Yep. Just, uh, it's gonna twirl it around here. Like spaghetti, right, Grump? That's how you eat it? Like spaghetti? Fancy dancy. Not exactly the uh, the eggs, but better than the eggs I wanted for breakfast. This is this is great. You don't have any ketchup, do you, Grump? Green eggs and ham. Yeah, no, it definitely is green. Okay, um, it's gonna. <coughs> mm, mm. Yeah, no. Oh wow! Whoa, Grump, that is delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Best meal I've ever eaten. In fact, it is so good, Grump, that eating more of it would hurt. I need to savor every bite. I am going, you know, don't even bother for bringing me more food today. I'm just gonna eat this today, it's that good. Really? I'm so glad you like it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep working on this, Grump. Okay. This is really gross. Maybe we could, uh, we could use this for something. I don't really know what. All right, I think I bought myself some time. If we're gonna get out, first thing I need to do is get that door open. But behind that is Grump, and he literally won't move. He's just staying there sleeping. All he does is sleep. Look, we have a screwdriver and a 3D printer. Maybe I can figure out a way to access the door and at least get the door open. Then if we can get the bars open, we can deal with Grump. I've gathered all the stuff that I could find. We've got Grump's uh, food. I've got this bar left over from the prison bar. And over here, I was able to find an old sparkling water from the hotel. Now putting these together, I think I found out a way that we can take down Grump and get us out of here. The only problem is getting out of this door. What I was able to find though, is that if you feel along here, this is where the key card activator is. So I should be able to open that door if I'm able to rewire it. And right here is the wiring module. If I can break that open using the bag, I'll be able to open the door. And then all I need to do is get through the steel bars. Once through that, got a bit of a plan to stop Grump. It's a little weird, but you're gonna have to wait and see how it works out. First things first, I need to access the wiring. So let's use this bag here to get that thing open. And pump. Oh, there we go. It's moving. Ugh, got it. All right, let's see what we're dealing with here. It looks like it's a simple wiring panel. Okay, I should be able to reroute the wires and short circuit the door here using the 3D printer. I'll be able to 3D print my own wiring system. The only problem is once that door opens, Grump is gonna see us and he's gonna come running. I found some old wiring behind the TV and there's a vent over there. I might be able to use the wires to pull the bars off. I've done it before and it's worked. Let's just make sure Grump's not up to anything. Grump, best in the world. Okay. All right, got it. Got the wires here. So let's get it wrapped around the bars. Got the wire around the bars here. I'll pull this out and feed it into the ventilation shaft. That should be enough to pull the bars off. Once the bars are off, I need to rewire this so that this will open. Let's turn this on, see what we can do. Stage two, sweeten up Grump so he doesn't suspect anything. Hey Grump, Grump buddy, got you a present. I got you a present. Here you go, it's a flower. To show you that I appreciate what you do, and I know that there, there's no way you're gonna let me out of here because uh, you're, you're the best jail guard that there ever was. So nice. You can put that wherever you want. Bye, Grump. Okay, now with Grump sweetened up, it's time to prepare the weapons to take down Grump. Honestly, guys, I kind of like him and I feel bad. I think the Baron's using him. Maybe if I get a chance, I let Grump out of here and I let him join me and Logan in our fight against the Baron. But unfortunately, the only way we're gonna get out of here and save the world is through Grump. So, we're gonna spray him in the face with this. Lock and load the first weapon. And second, I figured we could make a blow dart out of this old metal bar. I'm gonna take some of Grump's uh, food and stick it in the blow dart so that when all these gates are open, I can hit him with the blow dart, hit him with the sparkling water, grab his pass, get to the elevator, and get out of here once and for all, and stop the Baron. Looks like Operation Breakout of this hotel room is in full effect. Let's do this. First things first, rewiring this control panel to short the door and open it up. All right, pretty easy, just connect the lines here. There we go. 
and pull out the wires. <sighs> Got it. Now when I turn this on, it should start the fuse. Three, two, one. Ugh. All right, I think it worked. Let's see if the door opens. Next up is ripping the bars off. Once I put that into the vent shaft, it should throw them off the door. That is definitely gonna wake up Grump, which means we have to have this ready to spray in his face and this ready to launch, well, snot at him. The only thing is guys, once I put this through here and those bars fly off, they might hit me. So I'm gonna have to duck and cover behind my bed. Okay, here goes nothing guys. Come on, come on catch. Oh, I think it's got it. Oh no, oh no. Okay, vent's got it. Oh, it's struggling. All right, these things are gonna come flying. Oh! Oh, no. oh, you're gonna get it now. Not what so fast. On? Take some of this, Grump. I thought we were friends. Ah! Ah! Take some of that, Grump. Ah! Ah! Oh, where's the blow dryer? Where's the blow dryer? Take this, Grump. Oh. That doesn't sound right. Hold on. Ah. What are you doing? With ah. the you're not seeing anything oh. today, Grump. Oh, I can't see. Oh, yeah, Grump. Don't move, all right? Oh, we're breaking out of here. Don't worry, Grump. I'll come back for you. This is your key card. Got your key card for the elevator and... Oh, Grump, you were packing heat. Oh, it's all right, Grump. I'll come back for you, buddy. You'll be able to see soon enough. Time to get out of here. Come on, elevator. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No time for this. So it's here. All right, Grump, stay right there. I'm moving into the elevator.